Hi everyone, it is time for my um, January favorites, the first favorites of 2016 and I don't have too many products with me this month but um, the ones that I have are products I have used for such a long time that I just need to mention them. So um, I'm trying to film from a bigger distance today because I thought maybe this looks a bit better. We'll see um, when I edit it. Um, you may notice this shirt because I've had this on in my um, Finish 7 by Spring update, which I filmed relatively late in January already. So I decided that um, since it's the same day um, and it's close to the end of the month and I probably won't find any more products I love enough to mention, I might as well film my favorites already. So, let me get started. My first favorite has to be my Urban Decay Naked on the Run palette. Now, this is the palette that pretty much caused me to want to extend my makeup basket for the first two weeks of January for another two weeks because I just love these shadows so much. So, this has to be in here. I just love the shadows and um, let me see if I can show them to you. Um, there we go. So... You know, I have a Urban Decay Perversion uh, Mascara up here, a 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Stag, which is a dark, dark brown, almost black shadow and um, shade, and then an Urban Decay Naked Lip Gloss in the shade Sesso. Then we have um, five eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and um, the shades are... Um, the eyeshadows are Dive, Fix, Resist, Dare, and Stun, and this is 5050. Blush and Bronze, or I can't even find the names for on here. I'm going to research this and put them in the annotations. So, these are just, um, this is a combination that I love so much. I had just had to um, use this again for another two weeks and I the only thing I I changed out was actually a um, I added in another um, primer an eyeshadow primer because I just felt like it so um, this has to be part of my favorites another favorite of mine is my Catrice New Dilution Loose Powder Transparent Matte I bought this at the beginning of the month and I absolutely love this. This is um, just a loose powder um, that is white and my issue has been up until me using this product that my foundation and my um, concealer would crease right under my eyes. I have very small lines and um, this one prevents the, the, um, this issue quite well. It may not be perfect, but this is as close as I have come to perfect, so um, this has to be in my favorites because I finally don't have those ugly lines where you can really see foundation and concealer um, clump together and um, look odd under my eyes and it makes me look even, like I have even bigger lines there. So another favorite um, is a product that I've been using for the past four weeks as well and this is my Physicians Formula Happy Booster in the shade Natural. Now I hate the packaging like pretty much everybody else but for one this pattern just makes me so happy to look at it and the shade for this blush is such a neutral but still fresh looking shade on my skin tone that um, I have to mention this because it is the product I have reached for the most unless I wanted to actually make a dent in my two blushes that I want to use up in 2016. And um, I'm pretty sure I could have made a bigger dent in both of them if I didn't have this one in my uh, makeup basket. And my last two favorites are um, two Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils. Um, one unfortunately is completely used up and I only have the used up one with me. This is in the shade Bourbon and this is a dark brown technically. You can see this on the packaging right here. There we go. This is a darker brown with golden shimmer to it. I absolutely love this. I know some people don't like the shimmer particles in this but for me this is just wonderful. So um, this is a product that I have used um, often enough as a solo. Um, 
eye product because um, when I don't have a lot of time just throwing on a little bit of liner I think makes me look a lot better. And then the same in Rockstar. This is a dark purple. And um, I'm going to try and swatch this. So this does not look like a lot on my lids, on my um, hand as a swatch, but for me the big thing is that this is not as harsh as a <coughs> this is not as harsh as a black liner, so um, I can use this easily um, on its own as well. If I didn't like the brown one because I just wanted to have a little bit of a darker eyeliner going on I would use this one because it's not as harsh and I still love this eye sh this shade on me so these are my favorites for um, January already yeah January and um, I will see you guys soon bye